Hey all my crafting friends. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on our aviator template. So let's hop right into it. So you will need the following supplies to make your aviator sunglasses. We're going to use 16 gauge aluminum wire. This is the aluminum wire from Hobby Lobby in the eight pack I've been telling you guys about. And I'm actually going to put a link to that in my link tree today so you can easily get to it from my Instagram profile and on YouTube, it will be linked in the video description. You'll need your aviator template, a pair of wire cutters, a ruler, glue of your choice, I really like E6000. You'll need some tape. You can use just regular tape or you can use packing tape, um, but just make sure that the tape that you're using is gonna be shiny so our lenses are shiny. You'll also need a pair of scissors and some black construction paper. So we'll start how we usually do and measure out about 12 inches of wire. Once we have our 12 inches of wire measured out, we can start by bending it and finding the center. Once we have the center, we can place this on our nose bridge. This is just like the other templates where the double wire will be on the bottom. So we're just going to wrap it around each side. And at this point, do not bend your ear pieces back. We need to take this off and flip it around. So just kind of jiggle it off gently. And we want to flip it around because of our nose bridge. If our nose bridge is in the back, this is gonna make it difficult to put our lenses on. So when we flip it around and flip the nose bridge to the front, our lenses are gonna have this nice flat area here to adhere to. So we want the nose bridge in the front if we're turning them to sunglasses. You can also just leave these as they are right now and use them just as regular glasses. So now we can bend back our ear pieces and remove from our template. So we're gonna set these aside and we're going to get our black construction paper. So on our black construction paper, I just lay it over top of the template and I just smush down my edges. Just take my finger, kind of rock it back and forth and run it on the edge. And this is going to give us our outline to be able to cut our lenses out. So now that that's finished, we're going to get a little piece of tape, put our tape over top of where we just put our lenses, and I like to kind of run along that edge because it'll kind of give you a good guideline. So we don't want to cut right on top of the raised part. We're gonna cut just slightly away from it so that we have enough paper to go around our frame and to glue it to our frame. Let me cut this out and I'll show you. So if you can see the edge, I'm gonna cut just slightly away from that edge. the first one. Okay. 
And again, the same on this one. We're gonna cut just slightly away from that raised edge. So now that we have both of our lenses cut out, we are going to glue them on. I take my E6000 and just place a little on the toothpick. This way the glue is very controlled when you're using it. Just flip it over start putting our glue on the edges. The good thing about E6000, I mean, you wanna try your best not to get it where the lenses are going to be and just get it on that very edge. But this kind of, before it cures, it turns into a, almost like a jelly. And you can really get it off of your lenses. So I'm just placing that on. And if you do get any on your lens, with this E6000, you can just kind of wipe it right off. Okay, so let's get our other lens. A little bit more glue. And perfect so for the next part I like to let these dry for a little bit and then I like to adjust the nose bridge on my doll and know exactly how far apart I need this wire to be I do like to do the lenses before I do the nose bridge adjustment because if you're doing nose bridge adjustments you could shift your lenses around and it's going to be a lot more difficult to get those just the right shape because then you're going to have to use the frame to trace around and this frame is not an easy one to trace around so let's go ahead and get these on a doll i'm going to be using my little skippy doll my husband So this is a Crafty is Cool doll from her Amy Gurumi book, and this is the Long Skinny Male Head. So aviators on him are a little bit different than they are on Joe Biden. You can tell that they're a little bit small. So to fix this, we're going to adjust our nose bridge out. So I'm going to take the top of the nose bridge, and I'm going to push it down. And then I'm gonna pull my frames out. Push the nose bridge down and pull my frames out. And just adjust them until I get that nose bridge where I want it. So if you're doing this immediately after, like I am, just be careful not to pop your lenses out. So let's see how these look now. Oh yeah, so that is a much better fit and I can kind of push my frames back a little so they fit his face a little better. And I am going to go ahead, give him a little squeeze to keep those on. 
and bend my ear pieces down. And I'm gonna go ahead and bend my ear pieces down so I can cut the excess wire and have that excess wire to do the line on my aviators. If you do these glasses a lot, you may just want to even keep your extra wire, um, those little pieces that you can use for that top bridge. Okay, so we're just going to trim our little ear pieces back. Hopefully one is long enough to give us our little piece. So I trim those back to about right there. That one may be long enough. Make sure they still look good on him. All right. So I'm going to take these off. And now we can see if our top piece is going to be long enough. Okay. So for our top piece of our aviators, what we're doing is just gluing a straight piece in between. And we want that to be pretty close to the edge. So let's get our E6000. Little bit of glue for each side. And I do use quite a bit of glue here. So here are our finished aviators. You can kind of adjust that a little before the glue cures. And I will not put this pair directly on the doll because that glue really does need to dry and you really do not want to run your doll. So I'm gonna set these aside and I have a pair that I made earlier that I will show you. So here is our finished look on our craftiest cool doll. And I want to show you him next to Joe. So here are the dolls side by side. As you can see, you can make the glasses fit Joe, which has a much smaller head, or you can make them fit dolls with larger heads. So thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you have any questions or anything that you want to add, any advice that you want to share that's helped you create these glasses, just put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.